Across live to the Palais de Justice in the centre of Paris. Speak to our correspondent Catherine Norris Trent, who's joining us from there. Catherine, just remind us first of all, can you exactly what uh, he's been accused of here? Yeah, Jérôme Cahuzac, the former budget minister of France, is accused of tax evasion and money laundering, of hiding up to 3.5 million euros away in secret bank accounts, not declaring them to French tax authorities, channeling them through offshore accounts in Switzerland, the Isle of Man and Singapore. And all this while he was serving as budget minister, uh, for some of the time at least, um, and leading a bid to crack down on tax evasion in France. So you can imagine it created a huge scandal. Prosecutors have asked for uh, um, three years behind bars for Jérôme Cahuzac and five years being barred from holding any kind of political office. So we'll have to wait and see whether that is the verdict that the court hands down today. Uh, they're also asking for two years in prison for Jérôme Cahuzac's wife, Patricia, who was also involved in what prosecutors called deeply rooted fraud on a large scale dating back around 20 years. Yeah, you mentioned that scandal there, Catherine. I mean, it really was a case, wasn't it, that shook the socialist government at the time? Absolutely. This is a very symbolic case because when François Hollande, president, uh, came into office uh, in 2012, he had promised that his government was going to be squeaky clean. There weren't going to be the corruption scandals that have dogged other French governments in the past. And this scandal, the Cahuzac scandal, broke very early on into François Hollande's five years in office. And the fact that it was the budget minister who was leading a crackdown on tax evasion caught red-handed uh, or so it seems the court will decide later on um, whether he is guilty. The fact that he was caught by prosecutors who are alleging he uh, himself carried out tax evasion to the tune of 3.5 million euros was a huge scandal. At first, he denied it repeatedly in the face of media allegations before finally admitting it. And it actually led to a lot of disillusionment in French politics, not only with François Hollande's government at that very early stage, but with the whole of the political class. And we've seen politicians, anti-establishment parties, Parties like the Front National of Marine Le Pen trying to make some political ground of that, saying that all the political class, apart from her, of course, and her allies, are completely rotten to the core. So it's been really a damaging case. Catherine, thanks very much. Catherine Norris Trent there uh, at the Palais de Justice in the centre of Paris. More from her, of course, as that uh, case develops during the day.